Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another video with your girl, Siobhan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another cleaning motivational video. I will also be taking you with me as I go to the store and pick up a few things. I have a haul for you and yeah, just some more stuff within the video. So before we hop into the video, I just want to take a quick moment to thank you for spending a couple minutes with me today and just for your love and your kind comments for all the people who have subscribed thank you so much i truly appreciate it also if you have liked the videos or if you keep coming back i appreciate it if you are new to the channel i really hope you will consider subscribing becoming a part of the family i do a ton of cleaning videos decorating um, home decor shopping lifestyle like i do a little bit of everything in my videos and i really hope that you'll become a part of the family so again in today's video i have a ton of stuff that i am going to be showing you or cleaning and doing in the video and i really hope that you get something out of it hey clean along with me or take this motivation once you're done watching and go and get whatever done that you need to get done all right now let's hop into the video yeah 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 on me yeah no escaping from my mind but low key you know that you one of a kind wanna show me baby the things you feel do with that body, yo Show up everywhere that I be, yo All you wanna do is party, yo I know, I know You are the type that they warn me about, I yeah When I'm with you, all the wrong feels are right, I yeah She the real thing, but she cold hearted like Greenland Church girl moving like a queen pen Hey, yeah my thing will yeah my thing will she said, let me know when you're ready for me, ready for me, ready for me. She said, let me know when you're ready for me, ready for me, ready for me, yeah. Yeah, my thing, baby, oh, no. 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 Hey, fashionably laid on purpose, all eyes on you. Wind up on the place, not all of the guys want you she shut it down and Knows how to move it and checking what I'm gon' do. You know do We making a movie, the things yeah. you and I go through yeah. Every time we link up, we it's link a roller coaster when we make love Sometimes I don't really know where I have you Feels like someday you can flip us She the real thing but she go Beautiful people, <laughs> I need your opinion So I hope I'm not Okay, I'm just going to put it out there. So my life is about to get even crazier. Yes, even crazier, but in a good way, in a good way. So I was accepted into this digital marketing program. It is actually a five month program. Very intense, but so much knowledge. I'm so excited. I had to write a report. I had to do a video. I had to answer all these questions and everything to get accepted. I got accepted. And I'm super, super excited, okay? Once I learn all about the digital marketing aspect that they're teaching, I plan on, of course, using it in my current line of work as well as hopefully creating my own um, other portion of a business as well. But neither here nor there. I am a lifelong learner, so I love learning new things all the time. Now, I know I'm super busy and it can be hard and challenging, but I am looking forward to learning, um, well, participating in this digital marketing program that I'm a part of. Now, it is, I do have to commit, um, you know, a certain amount of hours to it each week and so forth. But like I said, I'm looking forward to it and I will keep y'all informed it starts in april and your girl was just excited so we're just going to roll with it so also so that's that's starting in april now y'all know i just got the new job and i am loving the new job and everything that is coming with it but i am still torn about just doing youtube full time because it truly is my passion, my home, my family, taking care of my kids, decorating, home decor is my passion. I absolutely love every aspect of it. So I'm torn about that. 
and also I am still in school um, doing the uh, <laughs> yeah no I'm crazy I'm crazy but I am still in school and yeah so I do that as well I just got a lot going on I really do I am being consistent with my videos and getting those out to you guys which I like I did not forget about Ayana's room I know every video that I post people comment like when is Ayana's room coming Ayana's room is coming. We also have a huge, huge update when it comes to Ayana, but I'm going to leave that for a little bit longer. A huge update coming for Ayana. I'm very, 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 very excited for her. So anyway, that is something that's new that's coming up. Um, I am really, 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 I mean, I know y'all see me do hauls and stuff, but I am really being diligent about not shopping as much because I am really looking forward to getting my new floors once I get my new floors then we'll go we'll go from there but I I have the rugs already picked out that I want to purchase for my home once I get the new floors I don't want to buy them now and then they're just sitting here I don't I don't want to do that so I want to get my new floors which is going to be about seventy five hundred dollars and that's only for the the first floor I also want to get new floors on the second floor but that'll be probably towards the end of the year. That'll be towards the end of the year. So I'm trying to be very diligent about, um, you know, just not spending as much money so that I can get my floors. And, you know, that, that's just, I just can't wait. I honestly cannot wait. So the kids are going to go on, well, no, no. So the kids are going to have, what is it, spring break? coming up the first I think it's the first week in April the week right before Easter they have spring break and I was actually going to take us on a little trip but I decided against that because again I'm trying to get my floors I am taking us on vacation this year so there's no need to do all of that now I will make sure that we do some fun things like probably go bowling um you know we, we'll probably go to the movies and stuff before spring break, but probably go bowling and do something else, maybe have a game night and so forth, but no trips, no trips at all. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to throw this all out there. I did get a ton of comments about the gentleman in the video, and someone left me a comment, Heather, aka Gamer Mom, which I appreciate. She said, I cannot believe people said that stuff in the comments. My mouth dropped. I guess I'm just one of those mind my own damn business kind of people. LOL. To be honest, I didn't even recognize it. <laughs> See, I mind my business. LOL. Awesome motivation. I love the drawer knobs too. They are really pretty. And she was talking about Ayana's um, drawer knobs. Um, but also, yeah, like people were saying, be careful, might be the sad chick and all that other, you know, all that other stuff. Um, but yeah, again, people are just too much I idea yeah. someone said i love how people give their unsolicited opinion about someone else's relationships please give her her credit for knowing something about men she's been married and had kids i'm sure she has asked all the right questions i wish you well in your new relationship may it be blessed and add to your life as well your children's lives <laughs> so thank you so much sharon thank you so much and yes it is very true i and very, 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 very cautious and just aware of what's going on in and around the lives of me and my children. So trust me, guys, I'm not in a rush to do anything, you know, crazy or I'm not, you know, like, trust me, I'm praying and watching and going from there. That's all I can say. That's it. That's it. So anyway <laughs> i do want to thank y'all again i mean thank y'all as well for all the kind comments regarding the guinea pigs the girls oh goodness that was it was traumatic it was very traumatic it was very 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 hard i felt bad ayana was upset up at school because you know ayana got the guinea pigs first she was the first one to bring guinea pigs in the house so yeah it was it was just sad it was sad um but the girls are doing better they understand that we're not getting any more pets at this time um so we're just going to love on the dog and the two cats that we have and go from there <laughs> we're just and just go from there because pets are a lot of work as well so when we go on vacation i have to have someone watch them or 
uh, put Leah in a, what is it, a dog kennel, put the dog, I mean, put the cats away as well, or I might not have to because you can just feed them and they can do what they need to do. But anyway, nonetheless, it's just, it's a lot, okay, it's a lot. So, huh. <sighs> Yeah, just a lot going on as usual, as usual. But yeah, I'm going to finish cleaning up this kitchen. Then I'm going to move into the dining room and the living room. Like I said, I'm going to take y'all shopping with me momentarily. And we're going to do a haul as well. She said, let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me. Ready for me. Baby, do you know if you're ready for me? Ready for me. Ready for me. She said, let me know when you're ready for me. Ready for me. Ready for me. Yeah. Yeah, my thing go low. Yeah, my thing go low. Yeah, my thing go low. So beautiful people, I saw this awesome comment from a woman by the name of Kathy Smith. Thank you, Kathy. And she says, Siobhan, I love your hustling mindset or your hustling mind, how you're not satisfied with the just have. You desire more and go get it. I love this for you. Wish I was like you when I was younger. And I want to say thank you, Kathy, so, so much. And you're right. Number one, I always get bored. So I'm always bored. I'm always trying new things. Let me just give y'all a little insight, okay? Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I have two LLCs. I'm going to get a third LLC once I get this digital marketing um, program under my belt. Yes, your girl is gonna have a third one. Only because I believe in multiple streams of income. So Ayana basically... She got a little bit of financial aid, but a lot of her schooling is paid out of pocket, okay? And I mean, a lot is paid out of pocket. And I'm very thankful that I'm able to do that. She was not, she has not experienced the broke college life style at all. Again, I have an update regarding Ayana very soon, so look forward to that. Also, I have other kids. So I've been working with my oldest daughter, trying to get her into school um, she is looking into starting the LPM program. She keeps going back and forth. She's just not sure she has the, she's not, she doesn't have the confidence like I want her to have. Very smart, but you have to believe that you can do it. So, plus I have other kids that I need to support and take care of. So I am always trying to figure out a way to make more money and also leave behind something in the event that something happens to me, I'm able to leave my children something when I am gone. So that is the plan. So I have big goals, I do, but also I have small, attainable, manageable goals. So I will be starting, I'll be starting another business, I know. I know. I'm so busy, but I some days I don't mind and other days I'm overwhelmed. It's just a part of life. It is what it is. But it makes it gets me excited to start new things. It really does. It gets me excited. So I can't wait to share what's coming up, you know, the new business ventures with you guys. And like I said, it gets me excited. Now, I, well, I'm trying to think how to word it. 
I do plan on having the kids work for me, which is nice, right? So you can pay your kids according to tax laws. I think like $12,500 for the year or something like that, and then write that off. I do plan on having the kids work for me and help me out because they want to. It's not like I'm forcing them. Some people force their kids. That's not what I'm doing. They want to. They want to be little models for things that are coming up and they want to help out. They want to, you know, help create and all of that. And I think that is absolutely amazing. I think that's amazing. And it's so cute when my kids say, when I grow up, I want to own my own business. Because, and yes, y'all see my floors, that tile was broke like that when I bought the house. I do want to get that repaired, but that's, it's not going to happen right now. So back to the kids. So when I ask my kids, what do you want to do when you grow up? They always say they want to own their own business. They never say, sorry guys, they never say, I can't wait to work for somebody else or, (laughs) you know? So I think that's really cute. So, or really amazing. I'm not going to even say cute. I think that's really amazing that they think that way, that they they see how hard I work. Even though I come to a nine to five and I put in the work, I also work, I work all day, every day basically. Now, there are times when I rest and take days off. Um, For example, a couple days ago, I had to go to the dentist. Y'all know my mouth. I went to a new dentist, and one of the teeth that I got a root canal on was still bothering me. It was hurting every day, no matter what I ate. It still hurt. If I took out a soft piece of bread and tried to chew on the tooth, it would hurt. So come to find out, the tooth had to be pulled out. So he pulled the tooth out and then he put a bone graft in there and then I had to get like five or six stitches. Oh my gosh. And the pain that I had these past couple days has been so, so unreal. So unreal. Mm -mm -mm. Talking about pain. Pain. I didn't sleep for a couple days. I had to take off two days from work because my mouth was just in excruciating pain. So, of course, I do take off time when need be. Um, but, you know, you got to get back to it. You have to get back to it. I have so many goals and I refuse to just um, be complacent and, you know, not accomplish them. I, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. So, your girl is going to keep doing what she needs to do to take care of these kids and raise them right and provide for them and hopefully get, leave them something also a legacy and be able to leave them something tangible that they can use to continue to go on and um, live a prosperous life as they get older. So that's my goals. Um, We'll talk more about the upcoming businesses. I'm just trying to get everything together. I've been working on my website and so forth. I'm just, like I said, just trying to get everything together because once I launch, I want to make sure that it is ready. Y'all can go and y'all can purchase. And, you know, if you decide, But whoever, once it's done, I want want it to be ready so that I can just get everything shipped out. Guys, when I tell y'all my new business cards came in and my thank you cards came in and just little stuff like that, that makes me so excited. I absolutely love them. I love them. So I got my colors for my business. I will be doing some Day in the Life of a Business Owner videos too. Like, I'm just super excited. I am so so excited so excited so when new products and stuff come in i get excited like yes okay or you know i'm just checking things off of my list so just be patient with your girl it's coming it's coming so i can't tell you everything right now but just know also i want to do more room makeovers so mm, you just gotta you just hang in there because it is coming you hear me it's coming Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty Like, like the bad guy You want some love Be like when you feel like calling a midnight mm, You got the best of me You got me losing speed
Without your heart, pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed I wonder Would you love me better if I go? I'm not home I wonder Can we trust the stars above to love? Beautiful people, oh my gosh. So again, I mentioned this before in my videos, but I'll mention it again. So my kids keep telling me I have OCD. And I, I think I do now, I really do. Because it, it really is obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to the cleaning. Now, if, again, again, I'm not, my house is messy because I have kids. It is what it is. I'm, uh, and for me too, like, you know, I need to get better at, you know, putting things back where they belong and so forth. You know, when you're rushing and all that. But I literally will dream about cleaning. I literally, when I walk in the door of my house, the first thing I think of is, it's time to clean something or wipe off something or let me put away something or sweep or mop or whatever the case may be. Like, and if it's not clean, like it, I, I struggle with sleeping and stuff. I struggle with focusing and all of that. So <laughs> I'm laughing. It's not funny, but it is funny. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I think about. I enjoy it. When I go to somebody's house, I look around. I'm like, okay, we can clean this, that, and a third. I could do this. I would do that. I would take this. I would use this product and so forth. I enjoy it. And it's like, it's, it's, compulsive like I think about it all the time about cleaning and cleaning and wiping and moving and dusting and I just want my house to be like it I want it to look like no one lives there but I have kids I have a family you know it's I work and I'm busy and I go to school and I have a ton of things on my plate So Kinsley and I ran a Target really quickly. Very busy day. I'm gonna give you a quick little breakdown. So um, the twins are in a play, the Wizard of Oz at their school today. They have a play practice or they have a play today. And then London is having a few of her friends come over. I do need to grab a few things for the house. And yeah, so and we we're just- And we need snacks for the play because they're not eating. That's right. They need a couple things because they got to eat before they go to the play. Okay. So anyway, we're at Target. We're running in real quick, get a couple things. Oh, and I need to get some more dog food. So let's go. This is her favorite thing to do, drive. Go ahead. My hair is looking crazy. I'm going to go get my eyebrows, nails, everything done tomorrow. But anyway, I don't want to buy anything for Easter because I have a ton of Easter stuff. But you know, like, $5, yeah. <laughs> and cute little things like this so cute five dollars so i really don't want to buy anything for easter so beautiful people the music is on in here so i can't really talk too much but i am picking up some detergent really quickly and kinsley is behind me driving hello butterscotch i'll show you what i got when i get home but i washed a load of clothes last night and I used the last of the detergent so I need to pick up some more I like the Tide Pods these are like my favorite so I'm gonna get these really quickly She's like, you like having mom time sweet treat yeah I don't like sharing a mom you don't like sharing me sometimes that's right you have to share all right let's go watch be uh -uh -uh -uh. you're too close to her mm -mm. Nope, stop. Yeah, we just need dog food and we are pretty much done. <sighs> I love this. Oh my gosh. Huh, baby? I love this, guys. Right here. This has got to be 30. 25. I was going to say 25, too. But I love, look at this. I love this. That is so pretty. Let me turn you around. So, yeah, this is the Hearth and Hand Magnolia. I like that. I have one of these at home. I have this, I believe. No, do I have this one? I don't have that one. I have that one at home. But 
I love these plates too. Or chargers. Yeah, charger tray. $12. I love those. Whew. And I love those too down there. But I don't have I don't even have any room to put anything else, so I like this. I like this a lot too. 35. I like that. Did you? Uh huh. You put your hand like this. Uh huh. But I might do this way. You like it that way? Oh wait, stay right there. I like this one too. Twenty-five. I like this a lot too. I like that one. All right, let's get the dog food really quickly. No, we're gonna go to Dollar Tree and get the snacks right here. Okay, so we're gonna get those cookies here. We gotta get. Let me see if they have a party size. They do. Oreos for them up here. Here, baby. All right, let's get, um, yeah, juice. Hold on, and we got to get chips and stuff for them, too. Here, do you want some of these over here? No, this is not what you want. Y'all like the, um, what is it called? The, uh, brownies. Uh -huh. the, okay, this isn't the brownies, so we'll get something else. Are you going down? Yeah, let's go down this way. Let's go down this way. Hold on. Hey beautiful people, so we are home. We ran to Target and to Dollar Tree. So again, London is having three of her friends come over. So I just grabbed a couple things. Plus we needed um, a few things for the house. And so I'm gonna show you really quickly what I got. Sorry, my hair looks a mess. I did not do anything to my hair. I just showered, of course, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and threw on these clothes, which is just some blue leggings. My, um, Gap sweatshirt and headed out the door and my um, Griffies. Anyway, so let me show you what I picked up from Target and from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to make their little goodie gift bags. Um, the twins, they have a couple hours before they have to be up at the school and I'm probably gonna order um, maybe some pizza and stuff for all the kids. So let me just show you what I got so I can put this up. I also have a gentleman coming to the house from TaskRabbit who's going to put together Ayana's wardrobe. So that'll finally be done. Again, her room will be done very, very, very soon. So I'm so excited. I was going to try and put it together myself, but I don't have the energy nor patience to do it. So he'll be here any minute to start putting that together. And yeah, like I said, her room will be done very soon. So let me show you what I got from Target and the Dollar Tree. So, you know, I took Kinsley with me, and so she wanted some dino nuggets, picked those out. We got a huge thing of Nutella. She picked these small box of chocolate chip little bite muffins. Um, I did grab this, it's, what is it, Ever Spring. It's the rose water and mint, all purpose. I didn't smell it. Hopefully it smells good. I'm not a rose water fan, but I just need it for cleaning. Anyway, I love this. I've been buying this since they were babies. Dr. Till's foaming bath um, with pure Epsom salt sleep bath. Very, very good. This is five, I think 89 at Target, but it's only $5, $4.99 at Walmart. So like get it from Walmart if you can. But anyway, it works really well. I also buy the sleep lotion for them and we like to use that. So then she picked out some s'mores pop-tarts and some chocolate fudge i got some hefty storage slider gallon bags 66 bags in there pretty good it was only like three dollars and something cent for these i believe which maybe they were in the wrong spot because i don't sound right but anyway i got some kodak um these are the protein uh here we are good protein powder like pancakes and waffles so um, these should be whole grains taste better I'm pretty sure this is the protein one. Eight grams of protein. Anyway, I want to make me a couple waffles, put them in the freezer for myself. So I did pick that up. I got two things of 2% milk, two things of the Hawaiian punch, eight cans of the blue um, homestyle senior or regular chicken for our dog, Leah. I got two things of the Lipton diet green tea mixed berry. They only had diet, so that's what I picked up. I got a party size of the Oreos, 
party size of the Chips Ahoy, some Fruity Pebbles, some Cocoa Puffs, and some Fruit Loops. I only buy the giant boxes of cereal normally because what's the point with all the kids? And then I also bought them some Icy Snow Cone Syrup. So this is by Koji Shark Punch. These were $2.99 each. Wild Cherry and, uh oh thank goodness. And this one is Cotton Candy. We do have a snow cone maker that we'll be pulling out because the twins have been asking, can we pull that out? So we'll pull that out. So I got those. And then I got some Gain Odor Defense. And it was buy, like, buy three things, get a $10 gift card. So I got a $10 gift card back. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because we actually need them. So this is the Gain Odor Defense, which was $15.99. The big thing of 120 um, capsules, this was $27. And I got another one. So these were both $27, and I got a $10 gift card. I got the box of Frito-Lay chips some fruit snacks. I also got a cotton candy maker, which was $39.99, I believe. And then I also bought these by Koji. Um, these are the cotton candy cones. You get 25 in here. So bought that. It's better to go to the store without your kids. Okay. I wouldn't have bought a cotton candy maker. I would not have bought like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so then we went to Dollar Tree and I picked up some watermelon dots, some Mica Nikes, the Tropical Typhoon. I bought this little eyeshadow brush, which is really good for like nose contouring. I had one, I can't find it, so I bought another one. We got some makeup wipes and this is the men's face and body wipes. I didn't even notice that. I just, wow. Okay, so anyway, they're a dollar and 25 cent a piece. Sorry guys, excuse me. <clears throat> so we got those we got the cocoa butter wipes and we got these ones which are the charcoal so for the girls oh and for the twins i just bought them some more scrunchies because you know it's just nice to have these when they're getting ready in the morning for school so i'm putting together a little package for the kids that are coming so i got four body butter so this one is peony scented this one is sage and cedar scented rose scented and this one is uh i don't know what is that oh lang lang scented sorry guys so then i got four socks four lip glosses four gold hydrogel face masks four sorrow um sour dude sour bites some white gift bags i got four of the dove hand lotions that they can throw in their bag, purse, whatever. These are four body scrubs that they can use. And then I got the um, hair and body mist, sweet breeze, two citrus loves, and one cucumber or summer vibes. Okay. And we got the Sour Patch Kids. I bought two Fagos and I bought some toothbrushes because I like to just have extra toothbrushes. So anyway, that is everything that I purchased from Target and the Dollar Tree. Really simple, quick trip. I was back within an hour, a little over an hour maybe. So I'm very proud of myself on that front. Anyway, um, that is just folded up stuff that I need to take upstairs. Um, house is still looking pretty good. So no complaints. I cannot wait to be able to get Yana's stuff from out of here. So anyway, um, let me put this stuff up really quickly and then we're going to make their little gift bags. Hey guys, so my sister's friends are coming over and I'm not going to have time to spend time with them and I don't want to because she's having fun. So I'm going to be making them welcome bags and yeah, um, my mom's going to record me doing it. Yes. So also beautiful people, leave a comment down below. Let Kinsley know what you think of her makeup. Oh, yeah. yeah she's been working on her makeup and she's getting so good and i think you look beautiful baby thank you you're welcome so go ahead and make your bags and then when you get done doing all of your welcome and everything we're going to put everything into the bags okay so i like to be creative so i'm glad i'm doing this i put all the caps at the end because i'll be using these markers during the entire words so yeah let's hop into it <laughs>
I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry Don't know if it's right, but I'm sticking with you You're my only vice, I'm dependent on you Love's for the wicked, I know this shit too well I talk, you don't listen, still I'm under your spell I think I'm addicted to feeling bad as hell I can just let you go You're the one I wait for, even though I hate Every time you leave me, leave me to my fate You're the one I'll stay for, though I wanna go Find somebody better, better for my soul Better for my soul, yeah, better for my soul Find somebody better, better for my soul You're the one I'll stay for, though I wanna go Find somebody better, better for my soul About the good days when you put me first, baby When you used to call me just to say that you miss me Don't know how we got here, but I blame you And I blame myself just for sticking with you Lies for the wicked, I know this sh- too well I talk, you don't listen, still I'm under your spell So I did have a comment, I can't remember the name But someone did ask me why is... Why is it that Kinsley's friend can come over more than Cadence's friend? Or how come Kinsley always invites her friends over and and Cadence doesn't, basically? Something like that. So that is not the case. So I will explain that a little bit more. So Kinsley's friend, her mom, allows her daughter to come over whenever she wants. So, And her daughter is the sweetest, I mean, just... The sweetest little girl ever. She never gives me any problems at all. So she can come over whenever she wants. I don't care. She can stay the night. She can go to school from here or whatever. She's like a niece to me. Um, Cadence's friend, her mom allows her daughter to come over, but not as often. You know, I think that they're really heavily involved in church and so forth. So they do different things and that's perfectly fine. But whenever Cadence's friend can come over, she comes over and I have no problem with either little girl coming over at any time. As you've seen before, I did a little a sleepover. They invited all of their friends. Now this time, London is having, um, she invited three of her friends to come over. And so I just made them little goodie bags. And they stayed over for a couple hours from like 3 to 10. They watched movies. They had fun. Whatever. It was, you know, they, they did their thing. But I would prefer my kids invite their friends over so that I know what's going on, you know, it, I know I'm there, I know what's going on, I can monitor it and so forth, rather than my kids go somewhere else. Even though I'm not opposed to them going over to their friend's house, I've let them do that. But I'm one of those parents where I don't mind my house being the fun house. Come over, have a good time. Yesterday, Kinsley's friend came over. I made um, Swedish meatballs, a, I had a um, chicken, a whole chicken. I made some macaroni and some broccoli. Delicious. The kids tore it up. They had a great time. No problem whatsoever. Everybody loved the food, which I'm so thankful for. Um, but yeah, so whenever they want to come over, they can. I have no problem. Of course, I always have drinks, food, and snacks, and they can play. Um, I actually bought the twins new scooters like two years ago. They were in the basement. They haven't used them. So we ended up pulling out one of the scooters and Um, they were sharing that one, which they could have pulled out both. They just didn't want to, but yeah, so they can do the hoverboards. They can play. I do plan on getting a fence put up so that we can keep, hopefully keep the deer out of the yard and, you know, have them a designated place to play. But for the most part, they will go outside. They will sit on the porch. They, you know, if it's warmer guys, remember it's still a little chilly here. Um, but yesterday I think it was like 50 something degrees. So the, the girls, all three played outside. Sorry about that. The girls played outside and then they came in and of course they love doing their little science projects and stuff. Oh, I bought a snow cone maker. I had the snow cone maker, but I bought a, what is it called? A goodness, cotton candy maker, cotton candy maker. You'll see that coming up. I think if not in this video, it's probably in the next video. Um, so that gave them something to do. They absolutely loved making their own cotton candy. Of course, I was right there with them because the, the machine gets really hot. Um, but yeah, I like for my house to be the fun house. The kids can come over, they can play, they can eat, they can watch TV, they can play games, all that. Um, I'm fine with that. (laughs) I'm fine with that. 
So please do not think, please, please, let me say this. Kinsley never, ever, 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 ever gets more treatment or better treatment than Cadence or any of my kids. They all get the exact same treatment. I've asked little Chris several times, invite some of your friends over. He does not want to. He's actually going to, um, oh, what is it? He's going somewhere this weekend with a couple of his friends. So there you go. And then London, I tell her all the time, you can invite your friends over. Sometimes London is just dead tired. She takes ballet at school. So she dances for several, several hours during the day. And then after school, she does ballet five days a week. Sometimes she's dead tired. And then Cadence and Kinsley, their little friends, we all live in the same area, of course, so they can come over whenever they want. If Cadence's friend wants to come over more, she can. It's, it's not a big deal. No one gets more or better treatment. Cade, again, is just, sometimes she likes to be by herself. So even if Kinsley and her little friend is playing, sometimes Cade wants to be by herself. Or she'll be on the phone FaceTiming her friend who couldn't come over. Or they'll all play together you know. Um, so please don't think, Kinsley loves being with me. She loves, so you might see her more. Like if I go to the store, which I just did, I asked Kate, come on, Kate, you want to go? She didn't want to come. I'm not going to force her to come to the store with me. So Kinsley always wants to come. She always wants to be with me. She'll lay in the bed and watch a movie with me. We'll color together. We'll paint. Kate will do some of that too, but Kate does not mind being by herself. That's not a bad thing. Now, when Gianni, my oldest, was little, Gianni absolutely loved being with me. She hated playing by herself. And when I tell you, I wish I could show you um, <laughs> her room, Gianni had every toy. She had every doll. She had the doll houses. She had every single toy, new toy that came out that she wanted. Because when she was the only child for six years, I worked I always had a good job. I worked. I had my own place. I had my own car. Um, I wasn't very smart when it came to certain things because G walked around in leather coats and the best of everything. Okay. <laughs> she, had, she, had, she had it all when she was little. So um, please know that no one gets more or better treatment. It's just certain kids prefer... They just, like London, London likes to be by herself. When she's not doing ballet and stuff, she just wants to chill out. She wants to relax and zone out and TikTok and stuff. That's London. Little Chris loves to game. I'm not a gamer, so you're not going to see me up there watching him game. I'm not a gamer. But they still get the same amount of hugs and kisses and I love you and how was your day and what's going on and hey, you want to go, if I'm going somewhere, do you want to go with me or do you want something from the store or whatever? Like they get all of that. So just, just throwing that out there, please don't think. Kay gets all kind of encouragement, okay? I can go up to Kinsley and Kinsley will say, pick me up, give me a hug. She wants to play. Kate is like, Ugh, I don't want to be hugged. I don't want to be touched. You know, like, mm, I love you, mom, but I need my space. She she makes it very clear. She makes it very clear. Now, for me, sometimes it's heartbreaking because I want to hug and kiss and, you know, all over my babies all the time. But Kate is like, really, she's not a very touchy feely type of person like that. That's just not her. And as far as encouraging her and all that, the best thing that I could have done for Cade, her and Kinsley are in separate classrooms. Cade has blossomed when it comes to being on her own because she relies a lot on Kinsley. She relies a lot on her. So now that she's on her own in her classroom, she does a lot on her own, which is which is nice, which is fine. The teachers have told me and all of that. So that's the best thing I could have done for Cade. <laughs> That's the best thing. And again, like I said, she loves science and math. So me catering to her when it comes to that, like buying science kits and taking them to the museums and, you know, the science center and different things like that. That is perfect for her. It's perfect for Kinsley, too. But it's but that Kate actually like lights up when we do stuff like that. So, guys, I know my kids. I know my kids so well. <laughs> I know them so well. I pay attention. I am very, very involved. I know what's going on. I know when they need a minute. I'm like that. Sometimes I come home and I'm like, I love y'all, but mommy need a minute. Like, I, I'm okay with just quiet time. So please, 
please don't ever think that one of my kids is getting special treatment over the others. They're not because they're all special. I love them all the same. It's just some want to be with me more than others or some want to do different things more than others or whatever the case may be. It's just it is what it is. You know, if you have kids and you have a family, you know, if you know, you know, right? <laughs> Down with the Merlot. You know I'm on the line with the sun low. You already know the vibes when I pull up on you. Been looking at the sign like a horoscope. You say you wanna leave, but I know you don't. Talking about you wanna freeze, what we got going on. But I'm seeing through the stream, it's really going on. I know how you feel, I just need you to wait on me. I wanna do less of this latency. I wanna do less of that wait and see. When I get back to the city, I hate to leave. I know what's up being away from me. Till I put it down, feel like synergy. Swear that your body the remedy. And you won't find nobody that's not me as real as me. It's to infinity. people I'm still debating if I want to decorate for Easter I know I'm kind of <laughs> it's kind of late I do plan on doing just a few touches of Easter okay I'm going to put my pillows out I'm going to do my runner and I'm going to add a couple little bunnies and such but I don't think I'm going to do a lot like I did last year if you don't if you haven't seen my last year East decorate for Easter video I'm going to link it down below so you can go and watch it if you prefer um, but it is a deep clean and decorate for Easter and spring. I do some cooking in there. I do some laundry. I answer some questions. It's a very good video. And you get to see the house pre, you get to see the house before it looks the way that it looks now. So you, you'll, you'll enjoy the video, I think. But again, I'm not doing a huge big decorate for Easter because I'm just liking the decor that I have in the house right now. And I really don't want to take anything away. To be honest with you, that's, that's pretty much it. I like the way it looks I no, I love the way it looks with the blue and white and I'm just not interested in um, removing anything so I'm just going to add a few touches of Easter and call it a day Thank you. 
off and Putting it back in again. Oh. My, it's good to be free. Look at the circles on my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. 